This warm hug between the French President Emmanuel Macron and the leader of the coup against legitimacy in Libya, renegade General Khalifa Haftar, may explain a lot about on which side Paris stands in the conflict in the oil-rich country. France said that it wants talks with NATO allies to discuss Turkey's allegedly increasingly aggressive rule in Libya, accusing Ankara of thwarting truce efforts in Libya. Turkey backs the internationally recognized government in Tripoli and is also helping to deter an assault on the capital by Haftar, who is backed by the United Arab Emirates, Egypt and Russia. What about the French rule in Libya? What are the French looking for in this long conflict? And if France didn't agree with Turkey, which backs legitimacy, which side is Paris backing? The roots of the French intervention and acts of espionage against Libya have been around for a long time. But what started to really show up at the surface was in July 2016, when then-French President François Hollande said three French soldiers were killed in a helicopter accident in Libya during an alleged intelligence gathering mission. La Libye connaît également une instabilité dangereuse. La Libye, c'est à quelques centaines de kilomètres seulement des côtes européennes. Et en ce moment même, nous menons des opérations périlleuses de renseignement. Trois de nos soldats, qui étaient jusque dans ces opérations, viennent de perdre la vie dans le cadre d'un accident d'hélicoptère. Je leur rends hommage aujourd'hui devant vous. The peak of the French involvement in Libya was on April 2019, when it's witnessed two scandals. The first was when a group of 13 armed French nationals were intercepted along the Tunisia-Libya border, who were confirmed to be members of France's intelligence services. Reports suggesting French citizens may have assisted Haftar as his forces attempted to capture the Libyan capital Tripoli. They tried to enter Tunisia along the Ras Dair crossing under diplomatic cover with arms and ammunition. And before talking about the second scandal, we must mention that France, especially its president, does not deny its very close relations with the UAE and with the architect of the overthrow of democratically elected leaders in the Middle East, the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, Mohammed bin Zayed. That relationship reached its climax when Paris dedicated the Louvre Museum to Abu Dhabi in exchange for the opening of a French military naval base in the Gulf state. It's likely that Abu Dhabi's naval base was the main cause of the second scandal, when a French frigate arrived from there at Ras Lanouf oil terminal, carrying ammunition and military equipment to the warlord Haftar, just days after he announced his plan to occupy the capital Tripoli. So, we return to the original question. If France does not support international legitimacy in Libya, as Turkey does, then what is France doing in Libya? And when will France realize that the era of colonialism is over and that depriving peoples of their free will has ended and the age of occupying their lands has finished? But sadly, it looks like France's president is brain dead and needs something that could refresh his memory. Hiç risk almayan, hep kazanmaya alışmış kimi ülkeler Türkiye'nin kendi hakkını, hukukunu, sınırlarını, egemenliğini koruma çabalarına tahammül edemiyor. Hele hele bunların içinde Fransa Cumhurbaşkanı son açıklamaları 
Bu hastalıklı, bu sığ anlayışın örneklerinden biridir. Ne diyor? NATO'nun beyin ölümü gerçekleşmiştir. Sayın Macron, bak Türkiye'den sesleniyorum. NATO'da da söyleyeceğim. Önce sen kendi beyin ölümünü bir kontrol ettir. Çünkü bu ifadeler ancak senin türündeki beyin ölümü gerçekleşmiş olanlara yakışır.